Hi folks, so this is uh, the painting I've been working on. It's going to take weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. I've been doing it outside today in the sunshine with doggies and had to put music on because it's been so, it's been so bloody noisy out here. I've also had to put my jacket around the outside of the easel because you can see down here the sunshine's coming through. So what I've been focusing on today is adding, blocking in more colour, more layers, been doing more detail on the face and down here more detail on the river started to go into areas like this now what that will be is because I like to make things difficult for myself I decided to do as it's Sabrina of the River Seven I decided to do the seven boar so we've got lots of different photographs and stuff just to give me an idea of wave formations and sort of as a as a resource guide I can use them so I've started to do little you know I've got such a long way to go anyway I want to show you a little bit of painting while I'm doing it this is my very mixed muddy palette so I've got cool cool tones and warm tones one thing I want to show you is at this stage it's very early days but at this stage what a lot of portrait painters use or certainly what I've used for years of all things is orange <laughs> It's a very, it's obviously a very warm tone to introduce, but it's not just that. It's um, it's the way that your light, your eyes transmit or receive um, colour signals. So when you're looking at something, it's like when you put your hand up to the light, and your hand actually ends up looking orange in that with the light shining through it. It's it's an optical illusion, but what it does is it just brings it alive a little bit. And I'm not worrying too much at this stage about if it's a little bit too dark in places. There you go. As with all painting, especially if you're doing portraiture, you've got to treat a 2D surface as a 3D surface. So you've got to paint in the direction. So I'm doing little curves for the bridge of the nose. You've got to paint in the direction that the that the skin would be going in. So, like I said, at this stage, I'm not too worried that it's really, really rough. It will look better as it goes along. This is what I categorically call the crap stage. So, <laughs> it's got to look crap before it looks better. So, um, I've got there's a lot, a lot to do on her eyes actually because her eyes aren't quite right. But uh, that's all something I can work out near the time. So there you go. So that's what I've been doing today. Did a little bit more on the waterfall, but I need to do a lot more on that. I haven't done anything more on her hair, so I need to work into that. But yeah, really complicated, bloody painting I've chosen to do for myself. Did a little bit more on the bank here, going underwater, because this is, this is the underwater line I've chosen to do. So I'm kind of have the little elves and eels in that but yeah so yeah so there you go long way to go long way to go